These are your hands. Grabbing every coin out of the collection plate to be polished and thrown into a new well. You are old wishes. A collection of never coming truths. All but your grandmother will pray. Her hymns are dusty. The lamination on her prayer cards wilt like her body. She is too frail for God's guilt. And your bed, stripped of its pineapple frame, now bone splints, simple skin, and a blanket. No more wedlock nesting. No more pillows, sheets, shams, throw pillows, body pillows. All of it tries too hard, like the lamp, like these white walls, the fucking quesadilla maker. You, stubborn and off track, like the dresser, no, anything but clean clothes, party favors, and hospital cards, no, that grief, too, can be its own career. To be taken with you like a birthmark, used like a hand drill, a brutal marriage, a deaf husband in a time when deaf husbands couldn't afford to love back. She knew she was dying, had dreams about him, of the projects where they lived, each one a little more absolute than the last, her brother with the hatchet, a pain in the finger that won't grow back, her husband's hands, heavy as whiskey, large enough to block whatever light dared shine in their back rent apartment. Until she would wake, find my mother, and say, Judy, there was a man outside my window. How did he climb the housing project? Is it Tuesday yet? Whatever happened to Lewis? And my mother shook from her sleep with every ounce of patience left would say, stop, Nawn. It was a dream. Go back to bed. In the morning, Nawn would eat, or she wouldn't, and say, Judy, there's a man outside my window last night. How did he climb the housing project? Is it Tuesday yet? You know, your father was such a good man. This is Kevin Kern, live from the Bebop.